back to the Blind Symmetry Lord Painting channel. In today's video, we will be painting a uh, DT-10 style crankbait here, deep diver. Uh, what we're gonna do is paint in a little crawl pattern with this little stencil sticker I made up, or stencil, stencil masking I made up. I went ahead and put the uh, masking on the lure already after I uh, base coated it in black. The next step will be to base coat it in all white. <coughs> and I'll base coat it now and I will fast forward this when I edit. I think I see a problem. I should have went over this. We lay this sticker back down if I can, if there isn't a bunch of paint under it. I don't know if you can see that, but I have the uh, stencil coming up a little bit on the side. Hopefully that doesn't create too much of a problem, but things don't always go the way you want to when you're recording just like that. All right, I'll clean this brush out and we'll get to the next color. All right, next color we're gonna use is the Createx Wicked Golden Yellow. And we're just gonna cover the belly and the throat area. Quick little heat set on that. Yeah, leave in the comment section uh, if you don't mind the sound of that hair dryer or if you would like me to block them out in future videos. That's all I want to do with that there. Okay, our next color is a Wicked, well, Createx Wicked Orange. And I'm only going to hit the bottom of the, uh, the uh, stencil. You might not be able to see that on... Uh, camera but see that or not. I'll try to do a little bit more on this side here. To be honest, I can really skip this step because we're going to throw red over here and the red over what yellow was there would turn orange. So that step's over. Next step is to cover that back in the Createx red. Let me clean this brush out and I'll get right back to you. All right, our next color is a wicked golden red. Yeah, wicked golden red, I'm sorry. A wicked red. Yeah, golden red, that would be orange.
Yeah, get them clogged down, right? You take care of this clog. Okay, after I fixed the clog, the GoPro wouldn't record. I had to delete some files. Okay, problems again. I guess I didn't fix the clog. Give that a quick little heat set. Yeah, remember, if you don't want to hear this hair dryer, let me know in the comments. And if you like these kind of videos, Hit me with a thumbs up. Greatly appreciate it. It'll help grow the channel. Slowly growing here. Almost at 500 subscribers. I'd like to thank each and every one of you who subscribed. And even each and every one of you who just watched the video and didn't subscribe. I appreciate it. Check it out. From what I can see, I look like I'm all right. All right. Yeah. Me at this side. Now nah, you know what? I'm just gonna leave her alone. Uh, let me clean this brush, and we'll be on to the next step. All right. Our next color is a wicked pearl red. We're just going to hit the back mainly, maybe drip it down the sides a little bit. I apologize for the compressor. And this stencil here, you can find it in a two-piece uh, 3D stencil, uh, 3D printed stencil. Uh, I would like to tell you the name of the company, but I'm only advertising free for these guys and Iwata. Well, yes, this is available in a 3D stencil. Andy, if you see this video, reach out to me. I'd like to showcase your products and let them know where I get everything. You can you you can skip this step, but I want to put a little uh, little flash on it here. Now what I want to do is get this pearl red all over the back and then we'll use a stencil and we'll go over the back and create a little bit of uh, detail and then we're going to go over that stencil with a, uh, a candy blue and see if we can't 
make what I stencil on the top blue and the surrounding area purple. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put a couple more coats of this uh, pearl red on off camera. That way I don't waste you guys time here. I don't know if you can see this, probably not, but that's the stippling effect done with the airbrush. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cover that red with the stippling effect on the sides and a little bit on the top, but I'm gonna cover the top up with a, a different stencil. But let's see if I can't screw this up on camera. Probably gonna screw it up. Pull it out so I can see it. All right. Hopefully you guys can see it. Just a little bit of stippling. All right. Next step, we will Hit the back with the other stencil in some white. And then we'll stencil off the belly. I may do one line all on camera and the rest off camera. The off camera had a closer look at this. I went a little too hard with the stippling. But I think she's salvageable. She still might, I still might be able to do what I was trying to do. Uh, you ever use one of these stencils? It's a modeling effect. I've never done one of these on camera the way I'm about to do it now. Usually when I use these kind of stencils, I lay my, uh, my lure down on a rag and I hold the stencil over the rag so I can get a nice firm press on it. Uh, it's gonna be the first time I'm trying it on a uh, helping hands on camera. Uh, and my head's probably gonna get in the way. I just want to do a thin spot right down the back. See, it's cocked to the side. I can't see my phone. Let's see where my head is at. Using the glove because I'm touching the back of the bait. Hitting it with air now, let it let the air dry. Some more air. I want this white as white as possible. I don't want it to look pink. Air, air dry. Try not to move that stencil. All right, I think that'll do it. too far down one side all right uh next step is i'll mask off a couple lines on here show you what i want to do on the belly and then i'll finish the rest of the lines on off camera and then we'll come back with uh some candy
Let's see how that works out for us. All right, detail burnt umber. We're gonna try to miss that tape a little bit. There's one. I'll do the other one. There's two. I'll do the rest off camera, but I'll peel that off to show you the effect. It's kind of hard doing it the way I'm doing it because I'm super, super close to the camera. And this right here, let me see. That right there is a little mistake. I didn't want to come on that side of the tape, but sometimes those little mistakes look good, so pretty cool. All right, I'll do the rest of the lines off camera and then we'll move on to the candy. Okay, off camera, I finished up the belly. Hope you can see that. And the next step is uh, candy blue across the back. Uh, the color I'm using is called Carib Blue, C-A-R-I-B-E Blue. It's a Wicked Candy 2.0. So in theory, whatever this blue touches on the purple, I mean the red should turn it to purple and should turn my white blue. But we'll see. Clear heat set. Oh, that blue on this monitor here looks like it's glowing. Holy cow. All right, I'm gonna pull it back and check her out. A little bit more. It really didn't make that purple effect, I was thinking. Oh, and it, uh, before I uh, put this candy on, right after I did this belly, I, I covered the whole bait in bleed checker. That way, the colors don't bleed through the uh, candy. monitor that blue <laughs> looks really bright but to the eye it does not look that bright wow that is killer bright all right next time you see her she'll have eyes and clear coat hey i shouldn't i should not experiment on camera i should not do that Oh yeah, I'm sorry. Let me uh dry that and we'll uh we'll take this uh we'll take this uh masking off. Give me one second. Okay, I can't see it. I'm going close. Scratching the bait. All right. 
I guess we could do the other side. Everybody likes the big reveal, right? If you don't like the big reveal, let me know in the comments. Okay, I don't even see where I'm at here. Um, we'll do this one. I know where it's at. I don't see it. Man. Okay, I'm going to have to take this one off. Sliding this point across until I feel it, but I don't feel it. I know I'm right there. There we go. I feel it now. Thought I did. Okay, yeah, I see it. That is killer bright. Okay, I did not want that to happen like that. It's my mistake, but oh well things happen all right don't forget to hit that like people i appreciate it it'll help grow the channel comment like share subscribe next time you see her eyes and clear coat thanks for checking out the channel i really appreciate it